Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is about the free Google Ads e-commerce script that I'm giving and releasing to you today. So what this script is, is something that I haven't seen anywhere on the internet. It's something that I've been using for about a year and a half internally at Market Lead. I've got a more advanced version of this that I've built, but this is a rebuilt one simplified for your easy use. So what this is, is basically a way that you can segment and categorize your products based on their performance. So there are five things that I tend to look at with product performance to ensure that products are being seen enough, searched enough, clicked enough, bought enough, and get a high enough ROAS. And these five categorizations are number one, impression threshold. Are the products getting enough clicks? Number two, click thresholds. Are they getting enough clicks? Number three is sales threshold. Are they getting enough sales? Number four is ROAS threshold and are they getting enough ROAS? And then the last one I'll reveal later on. So as we do go through this, as you can see here, products will export in here with the item ID, the product titles, clicks, impressions, cost, conversions, conversion rate, and ROAS. Now with this, I've built out this, so you use this script, it'll pull all the data into this sheet, and then it'll start categorizing it and give it a custom label. So all you need to do is upload the sheet yourself. So basically, once you've actually duplicated this sheet, uh, run the script, it will start populating on here. And then all you'll need to do is link this Google Sheet to your Merchant Center, and then all these products will dynamically upload for you. So how we start here, these are just a few things. So let's start off. Common sense, this is a free script. You take 100% responsibility for running it yourself or on your client's account. This is just a tool I use and I'm not recommending that you use it without reviewing it first. Now, I only use this for my clients. I don't use it for free audits or anything like that. I only use it with real clients. So just make sure that you do check things whenever you run them in accounts because they are using your data and using the Google Ads API as well. So this is really simple. All you need to do is copy this bit of code in here and I might just change that color here so you know what to do. Uh, to your tools and settings script and then press add. You wanna make sure that on line two, you do update the URL. So if we look in here, uh, we've got this Google sheet here that uh, you just need to update that. So you duplicate this sheet and then update it yourself. You run the script and just make sure you get all the settings approved, authorization, and then you just go to the main sheet and fill in the inputs. And then once that's done and the, all the products have processed through, then all you'll need to do is go to Merchant Center and upload it, which is basically go to products, feeds, supplemental feeds, and then follow the process there. So let's start off with this. So I'm gonna to go to the main sheet here, and this is where all the data is gonna be pushing into. There's actually a few other tabs in the background that are working, but this is what's gonna happen is now we're gonna to go to a client account and we're gonna start running this now. And here's the script and code in here. And all I need to do is go save and then press run. Run run with our preview, and then it will start processing through. So once that starts processing now, it may take a few moments for the data to start pushing through, but we can already see it's pushing through now. Now to save myself from uh, trying to blur too many things, I've just actually made this text white here. So I will change this back so it will be black text, but for now it's just white so I don't have to blur it out. And we can start to see all the products that are pushing in here through here now. Uh, and they're already getting the custom labels on them as well. So as this is processing through right now and it's going through live, I'm gonna show you how this works. So going from the top, you need to know what your ROAS goal is for your client or for your business. Now, a lot of businesses can be 200%, I've got clients up to 1000%. So just in case, just in this case for this client, it's going to be 400% because I know that's the client's goals. So that's our goal and that will really help us categorize products to see are they hitting the ROAS and threshold or not because that will determine if they're gonna be bucketed into a certain group or not. The next one is high sellers. What do we classify something as a high seller? So does it have to have two sales in that 30 day period, three sales, five sales, 10 sales? For this client now, I know because of all their products and there are so many, I'm actually gonna put three unique sales per product. So as this goes on and this data actually starts filtering out down here, you'll actually start to see the output. So the total products that are actually in here, and this will obviously keep growing as the script's running. 
the total clicks, which is the total clicks that are all here, uh, the total impressions, the total cost, total conversions, and then the total conversion value as well. So as this keeps processing, because it does take a little bit of time to pull it out of the Google API, uh, this will all start processing in itself and all these numbers down here will start updating. So the averages, for example, the average ROAS at the moment based on all this data is 196. Now I know the client's current ROAS is actually 5X. So as this keeps updating, this number will keep updating. Uh, the average clicks per product, I might need to change that to a number and duplicate that down here and average impressions per product. These are really important because this is gonna really help our click threshold. So this is really important. Most people in e-commerce do not look at this. They only look at their return on ad spend. But if products are not being seen enough, impressions, they're not gonna be clicked enough, which means they're not gonna get enough sales and get enough ROAS. So to be statistically significant, you actually need to make sure that products are being seen enough, impressions, or delivered enough, and getting enough clicks as well. So why I use this here is actually we can get the average of the account. So rather than just making up a number based on what I think or you think, we can actually use the account's actual average. So here at the moment, we can see the average is five. So we'll put five in there. An impression threshold, I usually leave it at 100. The average impression per product for this business at the moment or for the client is actually around 592. And I just wanna make sure that's correct. Impressions are divided by products. Correct. So then when we actually see that as well, we actually know what products are underneath the threshold and what are above it. So let's just say we update it to 600. We'll actually notice a lot of these products are not being delivered properly. So over here, I can make this wider. The categorizations will be either more delivery needed, low impressions, uh, more clicks needed, low clicks, winners maximized, basically anything that's getting enough clicks, enough impressions and getting a high return on ad spend. Loser, basically anything that's a low volume seller and a low ROAS, so just like money waster. And then there's another one called red flags. I'm not sure if any red flags have shown here yet. Red flags, not yet. Red flags are products that actually sell a lot, but they've still got a low ROAS. So they're probably products that you can make improvements on. They actually sell volume but they're not actually getting a good return either. So in future versions of this, I'm gonna build out a table for you so you can actually start to see how many products are in here and then you can start doing more analysis. But just for now, this custom tool is breaking down the uh, performance of products based on these criteria as well. And then if you just wanna look at the data here, um, we break it down by, you can rank it. So if I wanna rank it by impressions, it will start changing it based on products that have the most impressions. Uh, let's say conversions. We can also do conversion value. Or, and yeah, you can change that there. Now, in terms of the custom label placement, uh, everyone's going to have a different custom label that's available for them to upload back into Merchant Center. So rather than having you to manually write it out in here, uh, you can just dynamically decide if it's custom label here. Custom label one, and then it'll pull into here. So then... Once all this script is finalized running, you can, all you need to do is upload this sheet into Google Merchant Center now. And then the sheet will just run and that's all you need to do. So I've tried to make this as simple as possible for you, just so you can actually just allow your products to be categorized based on performance. So over time, I'll keep updating this. So as you can see here, this is only version one. So this is the first one just going out to market just to get people to see it, get people to use it, get feedback because the main thing about this is, is the dynamic input. By having this dynamic input, it's going to allow your products and you to categorize products based on your inputs in this Google Sheets here now. So all you gotta do is run the script, put the sheet and link it back up to Merchant Center and then dynamically change this and there you are. So let me know how you go with this. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback, but I'm gonna upload this now as this is still loading all the data in there. And I'm so excited to hear and see how you use it for your business going forward. So I'm gonna leave it there. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share.